this is a little mini video about these batteries AA AAA the 9 volt battery the C type and the D type now this is brought about as usual by people sort of saying to me um, are these any good? And I go, well, get your multimeter out. And they go, well, I haven't got one. So everybody ought to have a multimeter nowadays. So <laughs> here you go. How do you test them? Well, for a start, you put it on DC scale. So this one, D, it says DCV there, DC volts. Put it on about 20, that will do. On this one, it's volts and then a straight line and then some dots underneath it. So therefore that's DC. The down here we've got volts and it's got a wiggly line which is DC a, uh, AC. So that's that. So we put it on DC volts. You can put it on 2 or 20, it doesn't matter. And also it doesn't really matter which way round you use the probes because one way round it'll show the figure the other way round it'll show the same figure but with a minus because you got it the wrong way round but it doesn't matter so ignore the minus so we've got two basic types of cell we've got the the 1.5 volt cell which is the zinc or the hydride or something like that and then we've got the 1.2 volt cell which are the rechargeables nickel iron or um, NICAD or something like that so you've got to remember there's those two voltages and most of them will say on them what voltage they're supposed to be so I know this one here is a zinc hydride battery that should be 1.5 volts so we'll just test it and it's 1.37 so that's as flat as a flat thing this one here this should be a 9 volts stick the meter on it 5.4 complete waste of time this one here is a NICAD rechargeable so it should be about 1.2 but when they're fully charged they're a bit more than that and that shows 1.27 so I'd say that was fully charged these ones here C type ones they are NICADs I know that because they came out of a um, uh, a drill pack so let's just see they show 1.68 they are flat but because they're rechargeables they will actually charge up at that but this one here again I know this is a NICAD because it came out of emergency lighting system and that shows 0.01 that is flat and a waste of time it won't charge up properly here we've got a, an AA NICAD that's flat and a waste of time here we have an alkaline battery 1.5 volts that's what it says on there and it shows 1.58 so that is in perfect condition so basically with the alkaline types the 1.5 volts if they're 1.5 and above you're all right if they're 1.5 and below or should we say below 1.5 then you're in trouble it's about time to change it here's an alkaline battery and it shows 1.47 so that's virtually flat you could use it on a very lightweight situation but it will let you down hopefully that's made some sense now 
you've got to be aware that the NICADs or the rechargeables have a different voltage to the alkaline batteries. So let's say for instance you've got three of these together. Three of the alkaline would be three times 1.5, 1.5, which would be 4.5 volts. But three of the rechargeables will be three times 1.2, which is 3.6. So there's nearly a volt difference in a pack of three. So if you've got a piece of equipment that runs on the alkaline type and you put a rechargeable batteries in, there's a good chance that it will seem like it goes flatter earlier. And it's not that the batteries are actually going flat, it's that they're going below the voltage at which the piece of equipment is happy to run at. So you've got to be careful about putting rechargeable batteries in bits of equipment designed specifically for the alkaline type cells. Hopefully that makes sense and that you won't end up throwing lots of good batteries away. Have a pile of batteries, just go through them. 1.5, I'll have that one. 1.46, no that's scrap. That way we're not wasting energy and resources.